Hey guys! Okay, so I um, am filming this now, but it will obviously lead into my bare face. I just want to do like a better intro rather than just like, hey, here, I'm really bare face. I'm doing this video because I know you guys love this look I've been doing lately. The hair, I will link below to where I did it in my last, uh, recent video. Um, and you guys might have already caught it, but some, those of you who haven't, I will link it below. And um, I know you guys are loving this look lately. A lot of you guys are asking about my eyebrows, about the winged liner, the lipstick, and how I keep my tan going. You guys know when I came back from, uh, what's it called, from Hawaii last year, I loved my tan so much. I lay, kept laying out in my backyard all the time to keep it up. And now that there's like, I can't tan anymore because it's like winter, um, I'll show you how I keep it up. So it's just really easy and really natural looking. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm not sure like if there's anything else I need to say. Or... I didn't talk about any of my jewelry in the video itself. So this is my spun gold chain. This is my Mignon Studio 54 and my Super Gleam. And then these are my Puff Crush hoops, which are really cool. They're like vin new modern takes on the vintage um, hoops that a lot of you guys know, but they're really cute hearts and engraved or um, like not engraved, but um, stars in the middle of the hearts. They're really, really cute. They look really heavy, but they're not really comfortable to wear. And I have like my other, whatever, like safety pin, things like that. And then I have my Mignon chain here and then my Mignon Coco chain here, treasury bracelet, Studio 54 bracelets, and then my bangles. You guys all, all already know. Um, okay. So I will link all the stuff I can that I used below that I mentioned. And this is the stuff I've really honestly been using. None of this is sponsored. Like I said in the video, I know like a lot of these makeup things are sponsored, but none of these are. Um, none of my stuff is, at least in this video. And that's it. Okay, you guys? I'm trying to think if I forget anything else. It's like an intro, so I don't know if I don't remember now, it's not going to go up. Like, what else am I forgetting? Probably everything. Look at the lighting. Lighting is so weird. It's like so windy out. Um, shit, I like never film on Mondays, so I'm like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> um, what am I I feel like I forgot something. I don't think so. I hope not. Shit. Okay. I hope you guys like this video. Okay. So I'm just going to get started. This is me with nothing on my face. I just have a little bit of the sample La Mer on. That's it. Okay. So, um, I put it on like a half. Okay. I'm going to try not to talk too much because you guys know I can talk forever. Like I just get out and go on tangents. Like it's weird too, because like in normal, like, like, like I don't talk actually. Um, I actually don't even like conversation. It's really weird. Like, I'm not good at it. I can't do small talk. Like, I'm just the fucking worst. But on here, I feel like I talk to you guys like, I don't know. It's so weird. Okay. What am I doing? So, I have, like, a lot of different things that I use to do this look. Um, and it's just like, am I going to use this today? I would use this today. I want you guys like, everything so you can pick and choose too. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, what am I going to do first? Let me put this back. All right, here I go. I'm just gonna use this first. It's the Pacifica All Bright. And just so you guys, none of this is sponsored at all. This, actually I was at Ulta and I asked one of the guys, I was like, what is a good like primer? I, I have pores like right here, which I don't like. And I was like, I want some, everything I tried is just like not the best. And he's like, I love this Pacifica stuff. And I was like, not gonna get it. Cause I was like, I saw it was like a color and I wanted like one of those like matty things that like matte your pores. And I kind of like, it was like a pity fuck. I was like, okay, I was gonna, I buy it so I didn't hurt his feelings, but I actually do like it. <laughs> um, so it just kind of like does a base. And um, also I had really, really bad allergies on Saturday, like the worst allergies ever. And oh, I'm trying to sit up so I'm not as, um, trenching. So my face is kind of like uglier than usual because I had such a huge like allergy attack from like morning till night, like I even like, went to sleep with terrible allergies it was so bad like nothing would help um and so my face is like ugly like my nose is like inflamed I have like I'm like raw here you know what I mean I have like dry dry skin like I'm kind of a mess so it's like uh, not laying as nice my chit lips are kind of chapped too okay shut up see what I mean I just like talk forever um what am I gonna do now okay then I'm gonna show you guys two things that I use so I got this surge lutens okay I have got this poor it's like uh what's it called Face Perfecting Balm, okay, and are we getting dark? Okay, Face Perfecting Balm, and this is my thing. Are you guys like me where you go to like, you know, some kind of makeup, like makeup department, like a cause, I, this is from like Cosbar or whatever, 
And everything in there, you try it on, it looks good for some reason, right? Like, oh, like, oh my God, it's like life changing. Then you look at home and it's like not the best. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand why like, when, I'm, when I'm out and about and trying on makeup, everything's amazing. Or it's the same thing like dressing rooms. Like you find clothes and you're like, oh my God, I love this. And you get home, like what the fuck are they thinking? So annoying. So this is kind of like that. I mean, it's not, it's good, but I'm going other things too. I also use this Peter Thomas Roth thing too. It's the, um, it's weird. Let me show you guys. It squirts out like that. It's just the weirdest thing. And then I do this and I kind of like put it into my face just to like minimize the pores. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know the worst pores. I feel like I don't, I'm not, it's not the best. Okay. So now I'm like prepped. All right. Then this I'm going to do. I know a lot of you guys are like, how the fuck do you stay so tan? Like this is me normally. Like my chest is not the whitest, but my face gets white earlier than my, I'm not trying to like right, bake my face in the sun. And I haven't actually laid out since like a few months ago because there's just like no sun right now, right? I have this, it's the Terry, uh, by Terry T to tan face and body. And I saw it somewhere and I was like, do I really need that? And then I went to Barney's and they were doing like that closeout and they had them and I was like, I'm just gonna buy it. So I do like it. It's kind of weird and the pump is broken. So I'm honestly, this is, I'm so weird, but like, I can't go back to Barney's and exchange it because they're closed and they don't accept returns exchanges now, but like that's fucked up. So I feel like calling, this is so lame, but I feel like calling or emailing Terry somehow, like by Terry and be like, you guys like, can you exchange it for me? Because like it's bullshit. Like I bought this and I can't use it. Watch, watch it work now. Watch it work now. Oh, it's working. Oh, see what I mean? It does one spray and then it just starts to like do that. It's so fucking stupid and annoying. Like you have to like warm it up again. I'm pissed. Like, no, I want a fucking new one. Like I'm going to fucking email them. It's like, I can't use this. Ugh. See, then I can't anticipate it. Okay. I know it's gross. Just watch. Just watch what I do. I don't want to hear you guys. Okay. Done. This is like lighting is weird. Okay. So it's just kind of a base. It makes me like a shade darker, I think. I don't know if you can tell. Okay. Then I have these two things by Terry. Um, I'll put all the links below. I'm going to do a pump of each. And they are a little bit aggressive. Like when you put them on your face, like, oh my God, this is orange as shit. But when you, if you keep working with it, it's good. Okay. So. Don't judge me until everything's done. The lighting here is like, it's weird. So you have to wait for the lighting to calm down because it looks really dark for it to like, I don't use lighting and shit. You guys know that. Okay, see how my face is looking like a little bit darker, but not in like a fake gross way. So those are the three items I use for like darkening, but well, not darkening, but like tanning um, look. Okay, then I do have two options. I love this. I'm just gonna use a Serge Lutens because it's expensive, but I do like it. And we've talked about this before. So I'm just making sure I didn't forget anything. Okay, so it's like kind of potent and it's weird. It's like kind of a mess every time we open it. Like it's like a big jar of like loose foundation. Uh, I love the um, Chanel, um, that water-based stuff too. Is it called Le, Le Beige or whatever? I love that. Um, but that's for more of like a natural look. And later, lately I've been going for more of like a, like not makeup-y look, but like, I don't know, I guess like a little bit more of a makeup be look, even though it's not like me usually. It's like a, a makeup be, but not like just not like obviously makeup. It's just like, I don't know. For me, it's more like a 90s look. You know what I mean? Like, okay. So that's the face. Okay, that's the face. I can't even tell the difference. I don't even know. 
probably not. Okay, then I'm gonna do bronzing, and for the bronzer, you guys remember like my OG days when like I was like had like orange face. We're kind of doing that again to be honest, but I have two products that I love, um, and one of them is this. So I had the lighter one, the lighter version of this, the Marc Jacobs, and it cracked. And so now I'm using the darker one. I was like, I'm just going to try darker one anyway. It's the 106 Tantalize. Um, and I like this. It's really dark though. And then I have my jo Joyer, which I really love too. It's like this duo. It just depends on my day. Like if I want to do like, but I don't know, kind of like a, like a mood, like whatever mood I'm in. I'm going to be like darker today, like tanner. Like sometimes my skin can afford it. Like sometimes... Like I wake up in the morning, I'm like really pale and I'm just like, have to use this one. But sometimes I'm like darker. I don't know what it is. Like, and I just can use the other one. I don't know what I'm going to use right now. Um, I just can't wait till it's like sunny again so I can lay out and be like tan. Cause remember how good I looked? So what happened was, um, so with this, I need to like be really like careful about where I place it. Okay. Because it's darker than I probably should be using, but that's what I want. Um, I don't want to get it like in my pores because it will settle in there and like I'll have to redo my makeup like it's happened a couple times now it's like what the fuck did I do okay so remember when I came back from Hawaii and I was like so tan and like I was just never wanted to give that up right so I kept laying out like in my backyard and kept keeping up my tan I had like really great tan lines and like I still have good tan lines actually like they've lasted but so I'm like just trying to keep it up <laughs> as much as I can without like looking too ridiculous and I feel like if I look ridiculous, you guys out there would be like, like letting me know that as fuck and no one said anything. So, so you know, like everyone's like, oh my God, how do you like still say tan? I'm like, um, yeah, duh. Okay. So make sure you get it in the hairline. Even when I, when I do the bun thing too, um, I kind of go like in the back a little bit cause like the back of the neck's really white, but I feel like that's kind of like expected you're laying out like I don't know my I'm not gonna I don't know doesn't it like okay so okay then I'm gonna take this um and I'm gonna do in here a little bit too I don't like a big white eye socket like I don't know my eye sockets stay white weird Okay, um, then I have like a big bump right here on my nose, just like, it's like really obvious sometimes, um, just like the way my nose was born, obviously. Um, so I don't like to get powder too close to that because then it like accentuates that, actually, the dark powder accentuates that, and like it's like one of my pet peeves. So I'm just going to take this, I don't care what you guys say, like leave me the fuck alone, I'm not a makeup artist, I don't give a fuck. And I'm just going to rub it down my nose. This is what I like to do. It makes me feel like I have a more streamlined nose, like the sun hit the top of my nose. Okay. Okay. There, like right on the tip like that, right on like the, like I said, the top, I mean, not the tip. Okay. Um, then, oh my god, I look so, I can't even look at myself sometimes. Okay, I bought this yesterday. I'm going to talk about it later. Um, just kind of like an afterthought. That actually is kind of like an impulse buy. I hate impulse buys. I don't do that. But that definitely was. Okay, the eyebrows. The eyebrows are a fucking mood. We're talking about the eyebrows now. It's all about the eyebrows. Um, and I have a lot of different tools, not tools, but like products, st stuff. The main one I'm going to use, I'm all out of it too, to be honest, is this, um, the Charlotte Tilbury and it's the brown one, like the dark brown one. And I, I'm not, I'm, I have like no vocabulary. You guys know that basically you see my eyebrows this is all I have, right? Um, I have no vocabulary. Okay. So I'm also going to talk about this lift thing. A lot of people are assuming that I did some threading thing that lifts your eyebrows. No, I didn't. I just do normal Botox, like on my forehead and then it, the eyebrows naturally lift and I do some like the crow's feet stuff too. Um, and then I just honestly plucked some of them that go down here. I plucked them. I plucked them. I don't have any anyway. It doesn't matter to kind of keep them. Any ones that were like obviously ruining the shape that I wanted to go. You'll see. I'm able to connect this from here to here to make it look like it's going straight. You know what I mean? So if you guys don't have a ton of eyebrows like me and like you can like whatever afford to like lose the ends doesn't matter anyway. Like. I don't have eyebrows a lot. 
then if you want this look and you can do it and it's not like a big deal. Okay, or you can just go get the lip done um, if you wanna do that. Okay, because we're not, I love that kind of shit. All right, here's my one that works. Here we go. Okay, so I'm basically just like giving myself some color right now and don't worry about any like that kind of shit like the little the makeup that gets caught too much makeup make sure they all all the hairs are standing up okay then i'm going to take this um i have a couple colors i have dark brown from anesthesia and i also have chocolate and i just like to use a bunch of different colors to kind of Um, make it more realistic. Okay, you could honestly stop right there, um, but I want to go a little bit further. So let me do the next eyebrow. Eyebrows are done with those steps. And then I'm going to take this, which I also love. Yeah, this, this Anastasia product, which I like it. Um, it's dark brown. It's just an uglier finish than the Tilbury. It's just thicker, which you, I need it though. I need it, but it's harder to control. It's like, because it's heavy, it's heavier. Uh, but because I want to go dark, I want like darker, eye, like very dark eyebrows, not black, but like dark brown eyebrows for just my look lately, it's, it's imperative. So it's just something harder to control, but I feel like you need it. I just wish it was a little friendlier. I can't explain it. I'm like using weird words, I know. Okay. So look at the difference in eye color. Okay, yeah, and like see how that just like brings it to like the next level. Like more fierce, like brings out my eye color more. This is more just like, I don't like it. Like I'm not, it's not the vibe, it like ruins it. Like you have to go darker. It has to be a smooth and perfect line. Like this one's really good. This one, I don't love it, but it's just like my, the way my face is too. This eyebrow is not as good, honestly. Okay. Um, like this one's just like perfect. All right. Then... I also have this powder, which I just want to share with you guys, this Anastasia one, the dark brown powder. I also use this I'm at night, like, okay, so I don't, like, redo my makeup, but at night, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go out, my nose is looking, like, really ugly. It's actually not this ugly, usually. It's just, I've been sick, and so it's, like, inflamed, like, ugh, and then this lighting, look at the lighting. The lighting, like, highlights that, like, wideness. It's, like, disgusting. Like, when I look here, it looks normal. When I look here, it looks, like, ugly. Okay. Um... So uh, when I come home, if I like want to redo my makeup or whatever, I will add some of this. Just like fluff up my eyebrows while I've been dark. Um, fluff up my eyebrows with that. Okay. Also, my house is like <laughs> I don't want to say it. Okay, watch anyway. My house is old. Like, it's like really old, and I think it's like it's not even. <laughs> like my house is falling down. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, so these drawers are on rollers. I'm on like this mirrored desk thing, like, and the drawers are on like can hear right rollers so they always open like it's like a ghost i need to get like tape i swear to god like i'm like they really irritate me like so much okay um i don't know maybe i'll just do a little bit of darkening just because you guys are here and oh, what the fuck is that just because you guys are here um no i'm not gonna do it. that's for nighttime okay i bought this the other day too this is the, i'm telling you guys like i buy anything like brow i'm like fine right now i'm like, okay we're like we are into brows this is the 4.5 i think it's a little bit too light but it's just another thing to work in another product with more, like gives it more dimension. I feel like whatever, like, I, I don't know. I'm like all about it. Like this just, it just anything, anything to like give my brows a little bit more dimension. I'm like down to try. Okay. So that one. All right. Now I'm done. All right. I like it. Okay. <sighs> now we're going to do oh, the eye. Let's poke myself in the eye. Okay, that dead girl on the beach. <laughs> okay, 
Um, I just poke myself in the eye. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of different eyeliners too. So let me tell you my favorite eyeliners. Um, my favorite eyeliners are the Joye one, the kitten is really good, really, really good. And then I don't like anything else right now. The, the Kat Von D one is a lot, the tattoo liner is good too, but I do like the Joye one and I love this one too because it's short. I got these, um, little samples from Sephora, the Stila one, and just because it's short, it's easy to manipulate, hold. I can't explain. Okay. Hopefully this get these turn out right right now. Who knows? Okay. Now, don't hold me to it. You guys know how I feel about these wings. It has to be straight. It's really hard for me to get it straight just because of the way my eye shaped and because of the way I'm, I'm holding. Whatever. It just depends on the day. Like if it works out. I really hate when it curves up. I just feel like it's so try hard and it's like costumey. It's just not the vibe. Like. This straight and the straight and the straight is like a vibe. Stop texting me. Okay. And this doesn't help that like, it's, I just, I don't like my setup, but it is what it is. Anyway, my nails are so long. That's a problem too. It's like really hard to hold anything. Okay, that's pretty much it. It actually turned out really good. Okay, right. you see how it's straight? Okay, it's straight out. And it's not supposed to be anything other than a mood. It's like a little addition. It's like another eye. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like um, more eyelashes. Like when I do false eyelashes, which I can never do them, but if I do, I only put them on the ends. I like cut up the like, cut up the like, seriously, I'm gonna kill myself. Cut up the lashes and only put them on the ends. All right, done. All right, done, okay. So then, where's the cap? I'm gonna take the kitten by Joy. Joy, I like to do doubles. I don't know what it is. I just like to just smooth it out with two different products because the tips of these products are all different, and I feel like they all um, fix like the other one wasn't able to catch just because the tips are different. You have to believe me, it's true. Okay. Um, so the next I'm gonna do I uh, makeup mascara. No fucking vocabulary. It's the Pat McGrath, which I love, but. Recently, it's been really weird. Like it clumped on my lashes the other day. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. Um, I typically really like it. I don't know what's wrong though lately. Like it was so bad. I had to take like, take the mascara off. It clumped, like it just set weird. I don't know. See, it started doing that again right now. I don't know. It's like, what the fuck? My God, it's like when it starts to get all the same length. You see, oh my God, like crazy. My gardener's here. Clip down the shit. Fucking piece of crap. I'm just gonna take this and over it, like. I don't fuck around. All of a sudden, you just like turned on me. I got this little sample too from um, Sephora. You know what I mean? For like the points, do or show. I'm not like it's fine. Okay, so that is so far. Okay, now we have to do lips. Actually, to be to be honest, I think I want a little bit more bronzer. I'm telling you, it just like it just becomes like you have to watch it. Ooh. You have to like, all right. Um, so yeah, sometimes I do what my waterline with black. Should I do it? It's kind of cool. Um, 
I don't know if I do like I do the entire waterline it just becomes darker. Well, th I'll think about it. Let's do the lips first. So my lips. Okay, the lips are a definite vibe lately and I'm going to tell you guys the products I use the most are the ones by MAC and then I'm out of the ones by Joye, but I've been really loving them. It's Sienna and Fawn, which I love, but I'm totally out. Um, no more. What, I need to get more. I just haven't had time to get them. Okay. Subculture. No, is the dark one. Where is the light one? There it is. Strip down. Strip down. Okay. So here it goes. And yeah, here, here's what I do. So you guys know I don't love a Cupid's bow. I just don't like it. I think it's not the vibe. So um, anyone who's new here, like I'm not explaining everything. I'm like not good at it. So here we go. I also have a missing lip here, so I get like okay. Everyone's really discussing whatever. I get like uh, whenever I get a cold sore, I get it like right here. Like I don't know what it is. Just like the only place it ever comes in my life. And thank God I haven't gotten them. Oh God, what in like a long time um, from stress or whatever. But it's ruined my lip. Like I have foundation of it right now from when I was like putting it on, but like it's really fucked up my face. Okay, so this helps. This is something I'm just gonna do, I feel like forever, now that I understand how to do it. All right, shut up. Can I tell you guys something too? So annoyed. Hmm. This is a dark one. Oh shit, it's a dark one. Okay, also, no, it's right second. I'm using Subculture, for the daytime look. And then if I want it, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, see my lip actually is like up here. I have to do it straight on. Don't worry, there's a like machine guns going on outside. I'm in a fucking war zone, obviously. God, it's so annoying. It's like I'm really just trying to do a video for you guys, to be honest, but. I actually hate my lips so much, like my mouth. I just have these like little lips that like turn into each other. I want it to be like these lips that like, I'm drawing. They, they look better like when I'm not just like sitting like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Um. So this is kind of it. And what was I gonna say? I wanna say. <laughs> don't worry. So annoying. Like so annoying. Okay. Um. So what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So the other day, actually, I wanna tell you guys something. It was like kind of annoying. I was I went to Sephora like on a whim. Okay. Don't. Okay, and just like, because I was like there, I was somewhere that had Sephora, and I wanted to get this brush. I wanted a foundation brush, but I wanted one that was like really good, and was meant for foundation, was meant for like buffing, and like smoothing, and just like, looks better, I think. It looks better in person, like this video is fucking ugly, I look like fucking shit in these videos, okay. So I went in there and I was like, oh, cause you know, they always come up to you, they're always very friendly. But the truth is like, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of the times I ask questions, it's not, like I never get like, they never give me what I want. Like they, they don't have good advice. 
So I was like, I need a buff, like a whatever, like a foundation brush. I did say preferably the short handle, but she's like, we don't have any kabuki stuff right now. Hi, want me to hold you? Okay, wait. Um, and I was like, yeah, just like a really good foundation brush for whatever buffing foundation. And she's like, we don't, we only have, she's like, well, whatever. Anyway, I was so annoyed because she's like, basically she was saying they only had like two in the store that were like what I wanted. And I was like, oh, okay. So I like, took her advice. And then I was like walking around choosing other things for myself and I noticed like three other brushes. I noticed Tarte had like a big fluffy foundation brush, the bamboo handle, like a big one. It was kind of short and squatty, which would have been perfect. And then I saw an It Cosmetics area that had this one called Skin Perfecting Heavenly Skin Brush. Like, I mean, those are two like amazing options I could have chosen from, like based on what I told her. I just feel like, I'm like really annoyed by that. I'm just like really annoyed by that. I'm still annoyed by that. Okay, another thing is, I have a question for you guys. You know how I'm doing like, um, it's so tacky, like I hate it so much. I really like, it's so cringe to me. But it's like, I feel like that's the only way to like not make my video boring, like the, the front boring. But I've been doing those, um, what's it called? Those like front, what's it called? Thumbnail photos. Like I've been like editing, doing the thumbnail photos. And by the way, yes, I'm doing them myself. Like. People on my last video were like, oh, she probably has someone doing them for her. Like, are you kidding me? I think I like spend money, like having someone do that for me. Like I can easily do that. I don't understand. Like everyone's so fucking useless nowadays. I swear to God, you can't make your own fucking thumbnail. Ugh, so annoying. So to be honest, like I do like 99% of anything you guys see. It's like, I literally do. I, I don't understand what people's problems are. I fucking can't do shit. So like helpless. So, um. Do you guys like them though? I feel like really tacky and they're so like YouTube, which I can't stand. But I also feel like they're kind of funny because I can like put like emojis on them or whatever and then I can like write something like irritating. Like last time I was like, are you like ugly useless or fat? Like whatever was a like, fucking ugly, fat or useless or whatever. It was just very true. Um, but, and then I can have like a title of like, I can make a title and like my thumbnail has like a different title. So it's like two different titles. So it's kind of fun, but they are really tacky. So do we like them? Am I do, continuing to do them or am I, are we not doing them? Um, but yeah, I'm doing them myself just so you guys know. Like I was, I was like annoying me. I'm gonna put the black eyeliner on um, and then I'm gonna get going too just because I have things to do. I'm taking Ming, um, today's Monday. I'm taking Ming to the groomer today and I'm gonna do her the way I used to do her. I'm sick of everyone bossing me around my like family actually. They're like don't fucking shave that dog ever again. Like it's not your fucking dog. Like, you shut the fuck up. And, like, I'm so sick of it. Like, I've been, I don't know why I listened to them. I don't know why I listened to them, but I just did. I never listened to anyone. So, I'm shaving her again today. Not her whole thing, just like her body. I'm gonna leave puffy feet. Um, and I'm sick of it. Like, she's not your guys' dog. Like, I'm just so done, done with it. I don't know why I listened to them. Like, I'm irritated right now. Uh, also, I'm gonna get my nail fixed. Like, look at this, like ripping on both sides. Like, it's actually my nail. It's fucking, I just gonna like end up like breaking. But we are taking Monday off, actually. So yeah, we decided to take today off. Um, just because last week we were so fucking busy. We just kind of like, look, let's take Monday off, regroup. Um, but I decided to film instead of taking it off. That drawer just opened again. I'm not joking. I'm not fucking joking right now. What is that buzzsaw? Why? I just, I'm so happy my hair during the day sometimes because of this. Okay, so like I said, you guys, in the beginning of the video, don't forget, if you guys want to find out like the way that the hair, to do the hair do, go to my other video. Um, I'm trying to think about anything else annoying to tell you guys except for this drawer. The drawers, this drawer is not learning its fucking lesson. Oh, I forgot. Last thing. So yesterday I went shopping and if you guys on Instagram, you would have seen I went shopping yesterday and bought some shit. Actually, I like ran this, I went to like Neiman, just like go around and like they had nothing. Um, and then I went to Saks next door. I, I was just looking, you know what I honestly wanted to buy something. I'm not gonna say what I wanted to buy because I'm not buying anymore. I'm like just sick of it. But um, I, uh, what's it called? I love this stuck. Um, 
I ran into like a sale. It was like a 70% off plus, it was like, I forget what. It was like their last, their last bit of like sale. And I got an additional 25% off of it. So all that shit you guys saw me getting yesterday, well the majority of it was like really, really good price. Okay, so then I got this. Um, it's the new Chanel thing, it's golden light. And it's one of those things too, I was just like at the counter, everything was so fucking good at the counter. Like, I look like a fucking supermodel at the, don't worry. Don't worry! Oh my God. Trifecta. Someone kill me. Okay. Um, so I saw this and I was just like fucking around, you know, like the makeup counter, just like trying to spend money as always, like being stupid. And I really don't need anything glowy. My face like is like so glowy on its own, but I just was like, I kind of love it. <laughs> I don't know why. But I, it's really, it's kind of nice for like during the day when I'm already sweat, like when my face is already wet, at least I can like put it on and like have some color. I don't know. It's probably, oh my God, don't worry. The lighting's coming in now. Now that I'm ending the video, the light is coming. Yeah. See how it like slims? All right, I'm over this. Whoa. Oh, we are bipolar today. Like the wind is so crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys like this um, look. I know a lot of you guys have been asking so much about the eyebrows and the lips and stuff. So um, I just want to clarify. Actually, I'm going to give you one more tip before I go. And I can stay here for hours. So the darker one, the sub, no, the strip down, that is more for like nighttime. So at night, I might just like, like that, just highlight it a little bit more just on the sides. I don't want to let it go underneath. It, it's just not the vibe. It's just like casting shadows to kind of make it look like you have like a bigger lip, but it's obviously like, you know, lip liner, but it's still kind of cool. All right. Okay. Bye guys.